Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to do some more advanced stuff with labels now. You can have a labels automatically applied to new messages that come into your uh, inbox. So let me set up one now. I'm going to set up, actually in the last tutorial I set up a label called IT department. What I'm going to do now is set up a rule so that any message that comes into this mailbox from me, Matt Perot, uh, it will automatically get the label um, IT department. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go and do a search to start off with. So I'm going to do a search for Matt, and maybe I might get more message, messages from more Matts than just Matt Perot. So I'm going to start getting more specific. I'm going to click this arrow here, and it gives me some advanced, advanced um, search tools. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say any message that comes from M... Oh, there we go. I start typing mpro at elmo.ca. It knows who that is because... Um, I'm on the same system. I want, I'm going to get rid of this though, so I'm going to say it's from mpro at elmo.ca. So anytime I get a message from this person, I want to create a filter. So I'm going to create a filter with a search. And what I want to do is, uh, whenever it comes in, I want to automatically apply a label. And the label I'm going to apply is IT department. Um, I could do a lot of other stuff too. I could um, forward the message or mark it as always mark it as important, uh, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to also apply this to any of the conversations that match this. So anything that's already been sent to um, to this inbox from mpro at elma.ca is going to get that. So I'm going to say create filter. Um, so let's go back to my inbox. Now, of course, this already had that label, so that wasn't overly impressive, but check this out. I'm going to send a message to this account from me. It's going to pop up here in a second, and you're going to see that it'll automatically apply the label to that message. Um, so it's going to come into the inbox. It'll be unread. It'll have no message content, but it will pre-apply the label IT department automatically to the message, which is pretty cool. So if you um, often get messages from uh, a certain organization and you want them sorted, uh, for me, I have um, a lot of emails that come in from the first Lego League, and I like them all to get the FLL label so that I know um, what they are. Anyway, you can see the message came in right now from Matt Perot, automatically labeled IT department. So that's how you can set up an automatic, um, a, a set up a filter that automatically adds labels to your messages. You can further edit um, filters by going into your settings and go to settings and filters, and you can see the one filter that I've set up already. So it says any email that comes in that matches these conditions, it's from mpro at elmo.ca. Do this, apply a label, IT department. I could, if I don't want that to happen anymore, I could delete it, or I could click here on edit, and I could change some of the search terms. So maybe it has to be from Matt Pro, and it has to have maybe the um, words IT department in it, for example. And then I'd hit continue and modify it. I'm not going to modify it, though, but uh, that's how you do it. So there you go.